Kings, NHL, and 94 fans. This is Trojan in a hockey full mask with King Raph. Holy smokes, it's time for the Beer League Finals here. Uh, when did we decide Philadelphia was home, that would make uh, Schmidt the second team is home, right? Um, who, well, as far as oh, the, uh, on yeah. the screen there, okay. We, yeah, it's true, we went through that. A couple streams ago, right? <laughs> exactly. Let's just, a couple of streams, a couple of beers ago, a couple of White Claws ago, we got to remember. <laughs> you know, the, the weird thing here is Schmidt does not want Angry Jay to take a tear down. And so there was some battle over that. Um, whatever. I mean, whatever they consent to doesn't matter at this point. Angry Jay won a tournament already. Yeah, and it's a, it's a pride thing. You know, I know Schmidt he's legitimately just as good and can play and can win. So he, he wants to just cool up. I'm sure just win straight up, you know, doesn't want an advantage because then if he wins, it's like, all right, well you had an advantage. So I could see him, um, you know, and, and by his request, right. It wasn't like, um, you know, he was like AJ was saying, you know, I don't want to be disadvantaged. It was actually Schmidt, who I think who said it. So uh, a lot of props to those guys for doing that. I'm going to give these guys a good light, green light here. Yep. I'm going to get on the chat as well. Since there's no one here, I need to be here. Hey, John Stevenson, thanks for being in the chat. This is game seven. I'm sorry, seven games. Seven, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, well, what? No, no. What, what happened? <laughs> you know, I just realized that this uh, this is going to be a problem for me. That's, yeah, prohibitive. Or a good thing, you know. You drink less when you have a goalie mask on constantly. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, do you think this will qualify as a face covering in Minneapolis? Hey, oh. Um, <laughs> uh, the more, more less of my face and the more of you, the better. Uh, I think they're ready to go here. Yeah, it looks good. This is live, too. So uh, we don't know the result. No one knows the results because they haven't played them yet. But we shall see. Here we go. Schmidt with the Philadelphia Flyers versus AJ and the, the Peter Klimas slash Edmonton <laughs> Oilers. <laughs> we just hacked the ROM officially. Frank Simpson here in the zone. Yuskevich staying home. A one-timer to Klima. And Hogg just scoops up what's left. This is Trojan with King Raph here. This is the first of seven games. Uh, first to four. Takes it all. Yuskevich. Cross center ice. Takes a pause. Now takes the zone. Kevin Todd is there. Here's Manson to Klima. Can't handle it. And Tommy Soderstrom is there. Feeds it up to Yuskevich to Kevin Deneen. In the zone, lots of Oilers in the way trying to feed. Kel Eklund in the crease, no go. And the EA special attempt, and the putback is not there. An Ooh. awesome one-timer attempt, and Simpson misses the wet. I see it's the net wide. And trying to feed Recky. As Recky scoops up the bouncing puck. And another one-timer attempt in the crease. Ranford stands tall this time. Oh. And a flop shot, and Ranford's going to freeze this one. Yeah, both players fortunate there. Uh, definitely Schmidt got away with one. Uh, I can't believe uh, was it Simpson missed it wide from two feet away. It was a really nice set of pass there. Just mm -hmm. feet away and couldn't find it. You figure you put in Simpson over Corson, and, and maybe you hit a shot, but not that time. So puck floating around. Here comes Dave Manson. Flips it into the zone. Far side, Kevin Todd, checked by Pell Eklund. Eklund with some friends, resets. Klima stalking. And Klima intercepts up to Manson. Kevin Todd. Still scoreless here, under a minute remaining. And the first, Kratchuk checked. Recky puts one on, and the EA special to put back in the goal. And Schmidt takes the lead, assisted by Kevin Deneen. Yeah, it, it's like you said, uh, This most of this first period, some good opportunities, but really what was preventing was some solid defense by both players, shadowing, not, not allowing plays to develop. Uh, one fortunate bounce for for Schmidt, and then a, a nice execution on the EA special to go up one nothing in this period. And that uh, Schmidt is already talking shit in chat <laughs> with us. Uh, he's excited about that. So one nothing here into the second period. Schmidt over Angry Jay. This is the first game of a seven-game series. And another EA special, Simpson. So Angry Jay responding and tying this one up at nine seconds in the second period. 
Yeah, I see you one EA special and a uh, call. So he just go, goes ahead and has the equalizer there with the pretty much same exact goal. It's actually the only legal scoring method here in the rest of the tournament. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it, it is a pretty powerful tool to, to, to use um, because you can, if you get it off pretty quickly and efficiently, nice especially there. with the way these guys are playing defense, not allowing sort of, I would call, simple one-timers or obvious setups to go through, and even giving you enough time to skate around, sometimes your EA special is your best bet there. Nice check into the boards there, a little pause. Klima, quick one-timer to Simpson, turned away Soderstrom, tries to feed someone who fell down. Don't assume that was Tell Eklund, and we have a little bit of leg, and it resets Deneen to Hoggood. Probably just on my end, here comes Hoggood to Eklund, and short side Ooh. beats Ranford 2-1. And you made sure you your eye and you're disconnected yeah. from this game. Yeah, all good. So, yeah, hopefully uh, you always fear that in, in online games, right, where lag at the worst possible time can cause uh, a whole game to change. But um, looks like they're just playing through. Boom. Oh! Oh, wow. Eklund could not get a stick on it. And Klima's poked. And the puck is loose. And now checking the boards. And Kevin Todd gets a one-timer from Craig Simpson. We're all tied at 2. At 222. Huge turn of events there. I mean, that, that was really, um, yeah, just the wide open that should have gone in. Instead, we go the other way and we got a tie game. And looks like Kraschuk is out for the game. What about Igor? Igor is gone. Let's see if, uh, given it's AJ, I wonder if he puts Richardson in there, um, who's just a big body, good for CB check, but not a lot of great options. Uh, I missed who he even put in there. We'll find out when uh, he gets called for something, right? Yuskevich is going to spend some time in the box, and Edmonton's on the power play. I think that's Karkner, isn't, isn't it? Yeah, Terry Karkner, number one in your hearts, number 29 in your program. <laughs> Flipping it backwards. Are we glad we covered that yesterday, so we're fresh yeah. in our minds. Yes. Simpson back to Todd. Takes the zone. Looking for an alley. Nice defensive setup so far for the Flyers, and they just clear the puck here. Dave Manson tries to scoop it up, is getting stalked by Eklund, who intercepts it. And a Ooh. shot turned away. Ranford feeds a one-timer attempt to Rucky. That's turned away. Simpson is checked. Rucky scoops it up and now clears it again. Coming up on 30 seconds remaining in the power play. Ranford to Klima. Has a little bit of a lane and alley. Karkner is there. Nice job by Angry J. Excuse me, that was a Schmidt. Schmidt. The play there. The oh! Orange, the orange on both teams get me a little bit, and Recky uh, from Yuskevich. And that happened at 4.54 in the second. Yeah, three, two. yeah. That's a, a very unfortunate for AJ there. Almost no time left in the period. Puck goes to the flyer stick. Uh, with no time left, uh, Schmidt does the right thing, just puts one on net, and was uh, you know kind of surprised that it, it beat uh, Ranford from all the way out there. Going into the third period here, Schmidt up one goal. Simpson scoops it up. Pass is intercepted by Kevin Deneen. Stalked by Todd, and now the puck is picked up by Klima, who gets checked, but Simpson picks up the pieces. Getting harassed on the boards, mm -hmm. Deneen has it. Resets, feeds it up to Recky. Looking for a friend. And a one-timer attempt to Eklund, but it is held up. We have a penalty. Looks like it's going to be two minutes for hooking Dmitry Yuskevich. That will put the Oilers on the power play. Schmidt also refusing to edit his lines during the game. Uh, I just don't know why he would do that, but that's his choice. Maybe it's like the counter counter punch of the. I, I, th I think it's his the answer because I think are the Oilers one tier below here the uh, Flyers. No, these these teams are pretty even matched. I think. Not sure where you got them ranked on the tiers to be. Uh, we have to pull that up, but um, I think it's. Uh, I think they're pretty evenly matched teams. Yeah. Lower mid. They are in the same tier. Oh, what a save! That's huge. Great play by AJ and Emmanuel Goli reading that one timer to stop that. That. That is one of those things that makes the difference uh, between the the top guys and and just people who are really good at the game. Here's a. Uh, Todd Ellick, 34. Yep. Recky, Lapper intercepted by Todd. 
I'm not sure how we manage that. And uh, 25, I'm a little lost on that one. Edmonton Oilers. Uh, John Stevenson asks, who is the dark color team? Yes, that'd be the yes, yes the, the the blue and orange is the Oilers, and the black and orange and white is Schmidt, the Flyers. And I think uh, 34 on the Oilers. You were asking. That's Doug Waite. So my apologies on that. Alec, what, what what team is that then that has Todd Alec? Yeah. Uh, that's your trivia question of the night. We'll be back later in the uh, series <laughs> with your answer. <laughs> Cast your votes. I, I need to get this stuff down by this weekend. I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> so time running out here. Angry Jay. Oh. Putting a flip shot on. Does he have a chance here? Time is going to run out. And Schmidt's going to take game one, three, two, your final. And we'll wait to see what the teams are for the next game. Yeah, a super exciting start to this series. I mean, both teams had their chances in the... In that game, you know, we saw some misses on AJ. We saw some misses on uh, Schmidt. But then at the end of the day, um, the game-winning goal was that late second period giveaway, um, you know, right to Yuskevich to the recce one-timer that kind of made it out from, I think, above the circles, which beat Ranford. Uh, and that's your game winner. We'll see what uh, happens here with the, the next team selection. And I will get the logos updated as soon as we know who's playing. Uh, so it looks team one will be Angry Jay in this game. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So the home team then, um, this is AJ's choice for the, so who, who chooses the tier? Uh, Angry, Angry Jay chooses the tier. Schmidt has first pick his team. Gotcha. So let's see what tier AJ decides to go with. If he, you know... He could play, I mean, he plays them all, right? It, I guess the question is, does he want to go with the, the lower tier team, slow the game down, try to just outweigh him? But it, uh, we got the Winnipeg Jets. Looks like Schmidt has picked. Who doesn't love Winnipeg? Yeah, so a lot of speed. Let's see. He's got uh, Solani maybe coming at center. Did you see what the other team was? I apologize. Uh, no, it was so quick. Um, let's just they, as soon as they picked. So we got Jamnov, Solani, Tomas. Steen, Steen's going to come off, I think. He might put in uh, David off, right? Yeah, yeah. Jamnov, Saloni, David off. That's that's the team. And we got the New York Rangers. That's too bad he should have gone with the Islanders. Uh, <laughs> let's so see what the lineup here is. That noise. Gartner at center, Tikin on the wing. Does he keep Messier with his skills in there, or does he go with a little lighter option? A little Usually Tony Monte you, you see or... a Turcotte, Amante. Yeah, there's they're all kind of the same. Um, well, Ed Olchek. Yeah, well, yeah, it will check. Yeah, Turcotte comes in. That's usually the guy you want in there. So he's got Gartner, Turcotte, Tegan, and Leach and Patrick, the old Ranger pairing. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, Corbett, Kevin Brown, the finals is best of seven, just like the live tournament. Uh, the 16 and 8. Uh, I'm sorry, 16 is three, and then the eight and four rounds are um, best of five. Gardner gets uh, interference early. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the – Gardner comes in with all that speed. The counter to that is what Schmidt just did, is take the goalie out and move up to block him before AJ can react and, and in fact, works both ways because he gets the interference penalty on him. Solani. To Davidoff. And it's taken away. Patrick. Mm. Messier. I'm sorry, that's David Davidoff. Davidoff, Davidoff, yeah. Guys, that damn color schemes. <laughs> yeah, they picked the teams with the same uh, away home jerseys. Very, this one is really tough. Oh, uh, big pick in. save. Turcotte can't put it in. Jamnoff, Solani, short side, and your first goal of the game. Yeah, AJ just a little late to the goalie. I wonder if uh, his player was down or in a sort of animation where you couldn't switch to the goalie because uh, he normally would have... Uh, been on top of that because he wasn't also he wasn't near the the play either so i just wonder if off screen his player was tied up which kind of lags you out as far as uh, being able to switch to the goalie right away oh and a quick put back by tikin and turned away by beezer and jamnoff's going to spend two minutes in the sin bin at one to the two minutes 110 oh it's 210 i'm sorry uh but anyway 
Rangers on the power play and almost another goal there for Solani. Here's uh, James Patrick, loses it, Tikkanen has it. Looking for anything and beats Essenza. And Tikkanen gets on the board, assist by Patrick and we're all tied at one. Yeah, a nice patience displayed by, uh, by AJ over there. Sometimes when you're stuck with the manual goalie, uh, every second just gets you a little more uncomfortable and you start moving around. AJ uh, just outweighed him. Nice job. Uh, John Stevenson, I'm Trojan. And King Rafi down below there. Not where he should be, just that's just where he is at the moment. <laughs> it's the only way I'll be above you, King Raph. <laughs> yeah. The names are right, too. Hopefully you guys can see that on the stream. Uh, someone's going to the box. And Ref's James calling Patrick. everything here. Wow. Let him play. Yeah. A lot of penalties here. Under a minute here in the first period. I'll tie it at one. Leach to Gartner. To Tekken in. And the one time to Gartner, he finds the net. Nice. Sometimes he does it. That time he does. It's 2 1, Angry Jay. Yeah. Well done here on a short handed. Um, puts the Rangers up 2 to 1 here. And the Rangers just controlling the puck. Time running out here. One more chance for the Rangers. And Essence that comes out and meets them, and that'll end the period. 2-1 in Grigier over Schmidt. And what did you see in that first period? Yeah, I mean, much of the same as the first game. Both guys really clamping up on defense, uh, capitalizing on opportunities. The reason you don't have a lot more goals is really it's that defense and manual goalie control. Even that last end of period looked like a short side shot that didn't have a lot of room. If Schmidt doesn't take his goalie there. There could be one of those, um, it's called a slap deke, where the goalie goes down, that shot still goes in. So these little nuances of uh, of defense. And just we see it right there. Well, Again, um, why, why the score remains so low. Just great, great manual goalie controlled by both of these players. Jamnoff looking for a friend. Now Tikkanen has it the other way. Newman in with the check. Essence that can't handle it. Scooped up by Housley. Into the zone. Housley's a weapon. Goes oh. for a pass shot. Or maybe was that a one-timer? Uh, yeah, it was uh, a quick one-timer to Jamnoff that went wide. I was going to say, because Schmidt doesn't do intentional pass shots. <laughs> no, he loathes them. <laughs> and Housley clears it. Bounces off of Beezer. He handles it. Feeds Tekken in. Takes the zone. Has some friends. And Schmidt with essence, I guess, is the correct way. Oh. Jamnoff feeding David off a nice manual goaltending effort by Ingrid J. And a one-timer and stops him in the slot. Yeah, bees are coming up huge. That could have gone in. 140 remaining here. And we're going to have a penalty against the Winnipeg Jets. And a one-timer and a putback. Oh, and oh my goodness, stopped oh. by the skater. Phil Housley going into the box, but also saving a goal. That just kind of equalizes himself there. Um, that was going right in there, but Phil gets the stick out and saves one. Insert Dumb and Dumber. You go ahead and totally redeem yourself, reference. <laughs> and it didn't last long, though. The wraparound fed to the top of the slot. Gartner drives it home, assisted by Tekken, and it's 3-1. Yeah, you just saw Gartner park there, ready to unload his massive shot power. Uh, Essence of no chance, nicely set up there on the power play. Ooh, that was another one that almost went through. The awareness of the Rangers seems to be paying off. Gartner just in the right spots. And, oh, my gosh, another should have been goal. And uh, skaters are just laying out for the their goaltenders today. Gavidoff gets checked. Solani picks it up. And Beezer oh. was way out to pasture there. And Gavidoff finally yeah. gets the payoff there from Solani. Yeah, some sloppy play by the Rangers there. Almost cost them a goal er, uh, right before that. Was fortunate not to go in. Couldn't control the puck. Uh, great play by Winnipeg to get that one-timer feed into Davidoff. And cuts that lead just to one goal as we get into the third period. Great hockey so far. This is game two, period three. <laughs> Trojan with King Raff. Schmidt up one to nothing on these seven games. Ingrid J trying to tie up the series here. And a one-timer to Tekken in, and that's too easy. Nothing you, well, yeah, also nothing you could do, I think. You take the goalie a split second earlier, and you're just going to leave the net open. I mean, that's just one of those. Everyone's parked in exactly where they want to be. It's that awareness that, that you were just talking about, Trojan. It seems to be really working for the Rangers this period. Chaos is in uh, chat. We can only hope that there will be an eventual Matt Sundin sighting. But wait, Turcotte 
with a goal from Pekin in it's 5-2. Yeah, this is all flowing towards the New York Rangers way. They're on home ice, the garden's pumping. Uh, Winnipeg, uh, you know, got a lot, lot of work to do now to try to tie this game up and force an overtime. Did you get a chance to uh, watch the Henrik Lundqvist uh, tribute there? Yes, yeah, very excited. Uh, first Ranger jersey retired since any of those guys from the 94 team. You can see why they, they have some synergy and chemistry in this game. Peeking in. It's, you know, the old oil. This old is Oilers. big. <laughs> oh, is it his penalty shot? Uh, Housley going to work. Oh. And turned away by Beezer. He needed that one. Why Turcott over Amonti as chaos? I mean, stats wise, Turcott's a little better, if not the same, but I also think Turcott's your right handed shot, isn't he? Or is it the opposite? Yeah, I think Turcott's righty. And You're my Monty's expert, lefty. So I'm going to let you roll with uh, whatever you think it is. Yeah, I think that's one of the differences is the righty, lefty, and but they're pretty comparable. I think their stats are almost identical. Housley trying to get free, and the puck is turned over, peeking in now to Gartner. Two minutes in the third. Three goal deficit. Look at his puck control. And this is not stalling, he's just finding the open guy, taking a lane. Yeah, not stalling at all for sure. I mean, you, you go ahead and try to complete five passes with the Rangers and, and tell me how you do. AJ made it look easy. <laughs> or any team. I mean, any Batman. team, yeah. Jamnoff's going to be side. out for the game here, assuming we don't have three goals in the next minute 23. Yeah, I was going to say, this is all enough. It needs a quick faceoff goal to try to make something out of it. Doesn't. Well, e, there it is. That's that slap kick that I was talking about. Save. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't have played it better if you were Schmidt. Um, but just unable to put one in the net, and that's going to do it for this uh, game three. 45 seconds. Solani looking for anything poke check by Gardner. Just really uh, good defense. Uh, and both teams getting some help from their defensive skaters in the crease. And uh, really putting their bodies on the line for this Lord Manley's Cup Beer League final, if you will. So 1-1, nice one, one. we're going to game three. All tied up in yeah. the series. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That was game two. Now we are tied up 1-1. One, one. Uh, home teams victorious, both ones. Uh, and look, there, it, K, uh, Corbett, yeah, thank you. Turk out to lefty. I think Amonti then is the righty, because I think those are the two I always look at as well, depending on who I want to sub in, what, what handedness they have. But you could probably take a look at their stats. Uh, I think one's off, you know, one's a three or a four. It's a, it's, it's a minimal difference. Um, you know, use who you, who you feel most comfortable with. So now AJ calls the tier. Uh, I'm sorry. Schmidt's going to call the tier. AJ's going to be the first choice of team as team two. So let's see what these guys go with. Let's we'll just hope for uh, Quebec and Matt Sundin for chaos sake. Uh, we did get a uh, tease that we might see Greg Smith if, if we do see a Calgary Flames <laughs> matchup. Dark Lord willing. Greg Smith, is it the uh, S-M-Y-T-H? Yes. Smith? Oh, is it Smith? Is it Smitty? Is, is it Smythe? I don't know. Smythe. Greg, the, it's the Con Smythe, right? It's a Smythe division. I think it's Greg Smythe. But I, I, no, it is probably Smith. I have no idea. I don't I, I don't remember listening to Calgary Flames games back then and, and seeing a lot of Greg Smith out on the ice. But it's funny because when we do like sometimes do the commentary and there's names that we don't see and we start pronouncing them funny and get yelled at in the chat that we're mispronouncing names. I always it's amazing the power of YouTube. You just uh, find a 1993 Calgary Flames game and you'll you'll hear, you'll hear the announcers call them. It's like amazing. You just find, find a game from from any era. It, it is tremendous. You know, just watching the game then and, and just what's changed and. Um physicality and the fights and the goons uh, oh, yeah. of the 80s and 90s. Look, we're going to get some movement here on the team selection process. Obviously some consideration going on here. So Team 2, Montreal. Uh, there. So as they're, oh, so we got Montreal and they're known, they're, this is actually a great AJ team. They're just a, it's no real superstar there. Big time goalie though. I'm um, gonna have to use all those players. And the Flames. I'm always interested to see who puts. All right, so we got Gary Roberts, traditional center, uh, Flurry on the wing, and uh, Reichel is on the other on the left wing there. 
So no Makarov to start, keeping uh, McKinnis and Suter on the back end. And I imagine you're going to see LeBeau, Savard, and Muller possibly. Uh, it could be Dan Foos is, uh, you know what? I mean, this they have some options too. LeBeau could be interesting at center. I think he AJ may keep Muller. Let's see. No, he puts LeBeau. Um, and then if he puts, he's got to put Savard in there because that's uh, just a lot of skill that you want to have out on the ice. Dan Foos, LeBeau, Savard. And you go Stiffy go Dagnall in the, uh, the, the back end. Go play Stage Arden. See how he's feeling, you know. Um, it's 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 all depends on how he's feeling. He wants to play against um, that Calgary team. Not sure what he's looking at here. Maybe just Captain double Kirk checking his make, options. He's not going with Captain Kirk right now. No, Lebeau's, you know, he's a lightweight option. Um, maybe it's the counter. Maybe that flurry check. We'll see. And you know what? Neither of these guys are going to be shy. Well. Um, I should say, AJ's much. not going to be shy about changing it if it's not working. It doesn't take much to shoot on Mike Vernon. Um, so I think he's confident with whatever he puts in there. If he gets the one-timers, we're probably going to go by him. Reichel setting up, trying to find his Roberts at center here. Yeah, Roberts at center, Reichel on the left wing, and then you got uh, Theo Fleury, that wrecking ball on the right wing. Dampus scoops it up, gets checked over to LeBeau, back to Dampus. Around the back of the net, oh. runs into it, and the moorings release the net. Yeah, uh, chaos. Um, good, good question. That AJ picks a tier below. Um, Schmidt requested that he does not do that. That they play even matchups. So uh, that was an agreement that they that the both players made. And Suter going the far post goal. If you get in the slot, it's a 50-50 game, and he chose wisely. One nothing, Calgary over Montreal. Yeah, AJ a little late on that manual goal. Yet. Not, even, not even sure if he needed it, um, but nonetheless, uh, a nice play by Gary Suter going all the way. A defenseman coming in on Wah to try to score in that play. Wah feeds it up to Dom, who's looking for a friend. Gets poke checked, loses it. Here's Flurry. Flurry on the right wing playing at the center position. Reichel tries to go for that same goal turned away by Wah. Up to LeBeau. To Savard. And the one timer feed unable to get the shot away. And oh, more traffic, oh. but LeBeau gets the put back, and we're all tied at one. Yeah, a little. I'm not sure if uh, if that was a save on that first one timer attempt or a misfire. Either way, Montreal gets the puck back while Verna was out of out of position on that on that first save, sliding across the ice, and then had an open net there to tie up the game. John Pus tries to feed a one timer centering pass there, intercepted, and now the puck is ice. We'll have a face off in the Calgary zone. Yeah, Montreal needs to settle down here. Missed almost, almost missed that icing and, and gave uh, Calgary an opportunity to do some damage in the offensive zone. And a nice spinorama. Wah overcompensated. But Schmidt gets the goal. It's 2-1. Yeah, we call that the Sebi slip after uh, Sebi the legend. Uh, that is one of those classic moves. Always feels horrible when it, when it happens to you and you feel like uh, a genius when you do it on somebody. A lot of traffic in front of Vernon. Schneider back passes to LeBeau who takes the zone. Waiting for a friend, puts a shot over on the glove side of mm. Vernon and now the puck scoops all the way around back to Wah. Savard now on the wing, gets absolutely destroyed into the boards. Here comes McKinnis. Probably doesn't want to hang on to it too long. Shoot it, gotta shoot it. Intercepted mm. by Savard, it's clear 2-1, your score here at the end of the first. Yeah, nice patience by AJ there. It couldn't capitalize on the goal. LeBeau missed in a, a slapper, which with five accuracy, you hope he hits some more. Uh, but again, just like this whole series, uh, uh, it was pretty close, but that was a beautiful setup there for Fleury. Fleury from Reichel and Roberts here, 3-1 score. Schmidt extending the lead. We're in a tied series here. This is game three, Trojan with King Rath. Second period goal here, very early off the faceoff. Here comes Gary Roberts. Breaks are on, and Wah is there. Great manual goaltending, yeah. and another save from Angry Jay and his Patrick Wah. Yeah, just on that play, uh, for those wondering why you take such a funny-looking shot, it's uh, you'll notice it. It's 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 the attempt at the slap deke where you get the goalie, you get Patrick Wah falling down, and you could slide the puck out there, uh, and you needed to take manual goalie to save that. Schneider takes the zone, gets it to LeBeau, puts a shot, glove side, 
turned away by Vernon one time in the damp loose, and it is a great manual goal tend save yeah. by Schmidt. Beautiful, beautiful manual goalie save there. Desjardins feeds it up to Savarda, gets checked to the boards, picked up by Vernon. Schneider cannot intercept it, and Roberts can't handle it. Schneider, pass bounces off the back of LeBeau. Desjardins tries to close the distance, a one-timer from Flurry to Roberts turned away. And Wah has a long shot saved. Schneider's pass is not on target and now handled by Vernon. The pass bounces off the back of Suter. McInnes to Suter to Flurry. Biding his time, resetting, now taking his own. Checked mm. by Schneider. We're up a minute and a half remaining here. Dompus takes his own. Puts a shot on McInnes, gets the rebound from Vernon, and now feeds Flurry behind the net. Has a pass to Reichel. Centering pass intercepted by Dampus, a breakaway. He's been held, taken down. No penalty. LeBeau with a check. And Flurry scoops it up. And now Reichel feeds it in the zone, intercepted by Savard. Coming up on 30 seconds remaining here in the second period with a 3-1 mm. lead. So much going on right now. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Montreal can't seem to get settled in here. I wonder if AJ does a line change at the second period. Maybe get LeBeau out of there. He's really missing that uh that big shot. Well, you called it right on the buzzer there. <laughs> AJ going to the lineup sheet and saying, what can we do here? Yeah, uh, throws Brian Bellows in there. Which is basically Kirk Muller. It's a right-handed Kirk Muller, yeah. So, um, not bad. Schmidt upset at the line change. <laughs> <laughs> this is all for fun, guys. I hope you're having as much fun as I am right now with King Raph. This is Trojan. This is the third period of game three of a seven game series. And both players have won games to split the series at 1 1. Yeah, this is definitely a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be able to watch and call this game because uh, it doesn't really get better than these two guys right here playing. Um, uh, it's about the best 94 you're going to see. And a lot of it is subtle. Um, if you ever want to play one of these guys, just try to come online and you'll see how dangerous they really are. Bellis with a nice move there, but nice manual goaltending. And wow, 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 got out of position, and now it's 4-1. Yeah, you know, it, it it's uh, made him look silly. AJ went for the dive to try to cut that angle off short, but, I mean, uh, Schmidt had Fleury already going sideways, so um, just avoided avoided that dive by Wah and made it look easy there to go up 4-1. to Calgary AJ in, in not, the driver's seat here. AJ electing to not taunt and chat. Um, like Schmidt is, we'll see if he comes in later in the broadcast. Suter trying to feed someone, looks like Reichel, and nice manual attempt there. While Watt turns away a lot, and Dampus can't scoop it up, and now Vernon has it. Tries to feed Flurry, he has it, and turned away by Watt. Dampus takes note the back pass to Savard, back to Dampus. Around the back of the net, and oh, Bellis there it is. gets on the board. It's 4-2. This game isn't over. Definitely not over. Uh, I know AJ's not one to trash talk, but, um, you know, minute 36 is of all the people out there who can tie this up and get get on a roll, kick it into second gear to AJ. There's another opportunity. Just didn't get it through. Schmidt does a tremendous job clogging that one-timer oh. lane. Yeah, If you aren't good totally. at getting dirty goals, it's hard to... Just like that. Just like that, I mean, he, he had he had uh, Savard out there waiting for the one timer. Didn't initially try to go check him, and if you watch, waits. Savard tries to go, you know, around to the behind the net, you know, try to create something. But before he could even do that, Schmidt intercepts that with a nice CB check by Suter, and just eliminates any chance of an offensive play. Uh, uh, it's just it's just so hard to do anything against that defense. And now uh, Roberts hanging out behind the net. You're gonna have to chase him here. Turned away by Wa, and this is enough time wasted. Uh, that this game is going to be over, and Schmidt takes a 2-1 series lead. Yeah, really well played, right? I mean, it's um, th this is not an easy thing to do, um, but really well-deserved. It Montreal did have a tough time, I got to say, in that game getting things going, um, whether it was the lineup or, or just the chemistry of the team. This is, again, another home team uh, win. Um, that's the three out of three now as Schmidt goes up two games to one in this best of seven series. Um, but really, you know, you didn't really sense outside of maybe some, you know, chemistry, uh, not really many mistakes, not really um, 
you know, uh, uh, fortunate or unfortunate bounces that would that would say like, all right, you know, someone got unlucky. It's just just really good play by both teams. Actually, I might be encroaching a little bit here on the uh, the logo, but I'm gonna move that over a little bit. Uh, oh. So we got now Schmidt with the St. Louis Blues. AJ, that's got to be a mistake. They probably press start. Uh, I'm assuming so because unless we're desynced or something, because we see the Anaheim Ducks there. Can't be right. Uh, I guess he's trying to prove a point. Yeah. I'm going to close out and try to go back in. Yeah, just take a st – yeah, because it would be weird, right? I mean uh, – those are two mismatched. Um, he did it on purpose. That's a really – all right. That's okay. Um, I don't really My fault for that. I mean – So I think they're they they are doing that, that matchup. Um, that's the team he wants. So we're gonna have the St. Louis Blues, controlled by Schmidt versus the Anaheim Ducks by AJ. Don't know what that's about, but uh, we shall see. Move the logos over a little bit. Hopefully that you know it's not lining up the best, but uh, whatever. <laughs> that looks all right. No one no one's gonna complain. Schmidt's going to complain, but aside from him, no one else can complain. Okay, so he, we've, he's called him a, a D-O-O-S-H, <laughs> um, which I don't think is the proper spelling of whatever that actually is. Let's let's get back to it. So English, not a Schmidt's uh, strong suit, so <laughs> we'll give him a pass on that one. But, I mean, look, I mean, clearly if AJ's taking Anaheim, uh, might be feeling just some frustration from the, from the last game. Um, very unlike him. Hard to hard to get him off, you know, on tilt or off kilter here. Uh, but Schmidt really playing, um, really playing well here. So, uh, Angry Jay is the position to do what he wants with the team selection at, at home, right? So he's been able to maneuver their, uh, that around a little bit. All right, Trojan with Raph. Make sure you drop the game too, just in case. Not the first time. Right, it won't be the <laughs> last. For Seminoff to Yake. Back to Seminoff. Basson. Brown. And someone touches up as there's a penalty against St. Louis. It'll be Jeff Brown in for two. 58 yeah. seconds of the first power play for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Yeah, Chaos, we just did that. I don't know if there was just a delay on the uh, on the stream and chat, but that's uh, we're all set there. D.A. Bear with the save, the rare save from D.A. Bear. Anatoly Semenov looking for anything. Cujo turns it away. Nelson Emerson gets poked. And yeah, in a strange way, this is... Uh, with that uh, previous poke check? Yeah. And, and, uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> we got Kassatonoff and LaDucia in there. No, he's got yeah. Williams. Okay. Lonnie Loach, Terry Ake. Uh, but I think he just put Williams in there. Um, so it's funny because now it's like in a lot of ways there's a lot of extra pressure because there's no way that Schmidt is not supposed to win this game, uh, which actually causes you maybe to not play as tight or as uh, as, as, as you would because you have a little bit of nerves saying there's no way I could lose to Anaheim here. Literally well, the worst team in the league. Giles just got checked, and Jake with a check on Hull, Semenov. Takes it to Lonnie Loach. Puts it on. Tries to EA special. Turned away. Giles is there. So is Emerson. Leducia scoops it up and just chucks it into the corner. Basson now the other way. Semenov. Anyone. Now the lanes are opening up. And Nelson Emerson is checked. Now Terry Yake with a minute remaining here. Feeds Lonnie Loach. And the 
EA Special one timer mm -hmm. can't get the rebound. Bob Bass just scoops it up, passes it to Nelson Emerson. And uh, Alexei Kasatanov now feeding it to Anatoly Semenov. Man, I love these names. <laughs> this, is, this is quality. That's the best thing about the Mighty Ducks is their names. Anatoly Semenov, Semenov, one more chance. And tries to go for the pass shot. No goal. one nothing here. Yeah, now hey, Mighty Ducks over the St. Louis Blues. Who are we to question AJ's decision here uh, as he leads one nothing in game four here with the Anaheim Ducks? And a penalty right after the faceoff here. Looks like Semenov's going to spend two minutes for cheating at three seconds of the second period, putting the St. Louis Blues on the power play. Lonnie Loach goes at center. Three seconds in. Good opportunity for St. Louis to try to get one in here. Should be able to blast one by Air Bear, uh, Guy A. Bear here. An aggressive EA special attempt, but there were no friends left behind. Emerson. Wow, e -Bear, uh, Guy E. Bear came <laughs> home, <laughs> and uh, he had him dead to rights. Yeah, playing tall, playing standing on his feet. This could be tough here, Batson. Gets checked by Leducia, and the puck is cleared under a minute now on the power play. Yeah, textbook poke check, nice. Loach clogging up the middle. Basson puts a shot on, and there was a uh, a pick there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some may have one. called interference on that penalty uh, as uh, as whoever's laying in front of Guy Bear is getting up off the ground after that goal. <laughs> That's tremendous. There's a, there's a reason they have the, the, the crease colored that way. Uh, you're not allowed in there uh, if you are uh, the opponent. Yake to Loach. A late shot, Cujo turns it away, and Loach with the check, Yake on his back. And a back poke check there, potential goal saving. Seminoff now out of the box as he can approach two and a half minutes here in the second period in the tie game four. And another, you know, we haven't really seen anything come off the stick of Brent Hull yet, and I'm afraid to see it happen. This might be it. Leducier and the yep. far post floater which has worked to success for Schmidt earlier in the series. It's 2-1. Yeah, showing why Hull is so dangerous. Uh, a little backhand, but just quick enough to, to slip by Ebert, even with the manual goalie. And Semenov just going right past the stick side. It's 2-2. Yeah, you know, maybe uh, I think what my guess would be Schmidt probably just said, no way that's going in, and uh, then it went in. And then we saw that, and that just went through the back of the net. Uh, put a hole in it, and they're going to have to do some <laughs> maintenance. It's 3-2. Yeah, that one I think would go in, so uh, AJ just late to, to grab a bear there, try to save that slapper. And uh, Jeff Brown, huge check and scoops it up now to Hull setting up, and there's we're going to have a penalty against the Mighty Ducks. Seminoff touches up, and we'll see where the penalty is. Oh, Alan Seminoff, and this is going to be a face-off in the, oh, on the top here of the zone in funny location. This could help AJ if he can get possession of the puck. Uh, 26, not sure who that is for the Mighty Ducks. Might be Robin Bawa? Oh, uh, there's the CB legend goal we yes. talked about. <laughs> the Sebi slip. Sebi slip. <laughs> <laughs> Go one way, fake the other. Just the you slip. Gotta, yeah, just a slip. Uh, yeah, but that's that's what that was, that's what we call that one. And uh, uh, like I said, you feel great when you get those off. Yes, it's not off back checked. And Hull, wow, to give the go of the back and hand. Oh, my gosh. Uh, just great deeks there by Schmidt, and, and guessing right was Zanger Jay. Geek. Clears it. And as we uh, go into the uh, second intermission here, um, good call by Corbett saying that I think AJ throughout the series has picked the tier below. Just haven't really noticed. Still, you know, decent matchups for these guys, but it uh, hasn't been even tiers. At least when AJ's uh, able to pick. Puck floating around and the one timer, and this could, this is gonna put Angry Jay on his uh, in a corner. Yeah, this is like a snowball effect. Um, you know, the game started, Anaheim controlling a little bit, they're grinding it out, but all of a sudden, you know, starts to open up, the ball starts rolling, Hull starts slapping them, and all that extra skill that St. Louis has is coming through here. Uh, I think it's second and third, where it's going to be really hard for for Anna have to do anything. And uh, coming up to meet Basson, and now we got a four goal deficit here. So 
Um, not coming back from that. Not, not with the Mighty Ducks. Ingrid yeah. Day, top five player on the planet, uh, and I just don't see that happening here. Yeah, I, I'd even say top three, but um, uh, yeah, I don't see this coming back. And you're probably right on that, but uh, you know, give me someone <laughs> I don't know about. I don't know what I don't know what's up with those Russian players and where their skill is at. No, I I, I actually you know uh, as we're about to see maybe a seventh goal. Um, it's funny I actually played those guys uh, a couple exhibition games. Uh, obviously, there's a inherent lag just from a distance, you know, but that's like an input lag which you can kind of get adjusted to. You know, you know you're going to be about a second or two, uh, like a second really behind. But uh, yeah, they're pretty good, but not, not nowhere near. I would say the top, you know. 10 guys that are that are that I've played with here. They're like a, they're like a good B B guys. So as we're coming up here in a minute remaining here um, we can update the standings here so we know what the final is if if, if Schumann doesn't get another goal here under a minute. And uh, so it'll be 3-1 uh, Schmidt over Angry J and we get if Angry Jay loses the next one, it'll be over. Uh, I got to think he's going to find a way to claw at least one more win out of this series. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, if there's, I, I could count AJ out of this particular game, but I'm not, I'm not going to come out, uh, count him out of the series because uh, uh, I've been, I've been that victim as well. I've been up three one against him in the series and have lost four uh, three. Spent the next, you know, week or two questioning my life decisions. Because that's painful to do, but so I know he can do it, and uh, so I, I, I'm not putting this series behind him at all. So we're gonna go ahead and officially update this here three games to one, and uh, let's see what the final, um, well I should say the final, but the potentially final uh, game is here. So let's see if Angry Jay can battle back, and uh, Schmidt is rolling right now, three games to one. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see their uh, their team selections here for for fourth game. Uh, this one now going back to um, uh, to AJ picking first uh, on the away team here. So we'll see what what tier that um, Schmidt picks and what team AJ decides to go with. Schmidt Schmidt probably gonna match him though tier for tier. So if you're still in chat, let us know here. Um guys are pretty timely about picking their teams. But uh, the ship Schmidt will be at home. So they must be chatting. They listen to the awesome 60-bit music <laughs> here. I know you can't hear it unless you're watching the stream. I can hear it, though. Yeah, I, I can hear it in my head. It, it never stops. <laughs> Although that does remind me, I sh I I've been looking to swap out some of the Winnipeg Boston as the matchup. Schmidt going with the Winni uh sorry, AJ going with the Winnipeg Jets. Schmidt going with the Boston Bruins. Love this matchup. Uh, AJ with all the potency that uh, he might need here. Uh, Bruins obviously have tremendous defense, and we'll see how slows down that tremendous four pronged attack. Very, very dangerous. AJ just played a classic season a um, couple months ago, won it with the Winnipeg Jets. So he's, you know, pretty familiar with recent history, playing, you know, 40 game season plus playoffs, etc., and winning it. So, um, uh, yeah, uh, I like this. I like this team a lot for AJ. And Definitely as we say that, getting on the board here, uh, all of 17 yeah. seconds. <laughs> <It's one laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, in short, Good team. Well, there's that floater goal again. And uh, a little bit of a jitter. I don't think it mattered. Joe Juno gets on the board unassisted. It's 27 yeah. seconds. We're tied at one. That lasted long. Yeah, very similar to the suitor goal that uh, Schmidt did with Calgary uh, against Juan and, and Montreal. Just going that one side and just, just I, he just has that angle down where it's just enough to fake AJ out. So uh, another repeat goal there. Pocek steals it from Houseway, but he gets it back, and now it's a breakaway. And goes for the pass shot. AJ with the pass shot. That's scary. 2-1, your score here. Yeah, I mentioned earlier, when you got a fast guy, we saw it with Gartner, sometimes you want to come out with the goalie, cut that angle off before they can make a decision. 
That's what Schmidt tried to do. AJ just blasted it in uh, right at the same time. Ted Donato tries to just ram it in. Solani to Davidoff and tries to feed in the slot or in the crease, excuse me. Oats up to Juno. Three minutes remaining here. Davidoff intercepts the loose puck. Jamnov on the wing. EA special to put back. Ooh. No go. Moog is there. Feeds Juno. Puts the brakes on. Looking for anything. And gets checked by Davidoff. Bork is there on defense. Davidoff putting a shot on. Sweeney gets the rebound. Adam Oates checked. Picked up by Housley. Two minutes remaining in the first. Around the back of the net. Trying to find anything. A couple defenders. Jamnov is checked. Maybe that way for the central breakaway. But Juno is being harassed by Solani. Cuts the angle off as he's uh, is there. Davidoff oh. somehow got that pass. And great manual goaltending there. Moog getting the job done. Back pass intercepted. Jamnov now to Solani. Breakaway. And a pass shot. It oh. goes in anyway. Yeah, Schmidt guessed right, but he didn't do the save animation, so the puck uh, continued to bounce and roll around Andy Moog, Moog, and uh, and trickles in. AJ just really showcasing why that speed is so deadly with Winnipeg. But as I talk, right, uh, Schmidt comes back with basically another one of those goals coming uh, across one side and finding that floater going the other way just to cut that lead to two to one. The face-off floater may be his signature goal, and the putback EA special Juno couldn't get it done. It was greatly thought up and executed. Just the, the player yep. inside the game failed. Ah, uh, yeah, totally. I mean, very fortunate for AJ, unfortunate for Schmidt on that one. That uh, that was an easier goal than the previous two. Well, Angry Jay holding on to one goal lead here, three-two. At the end of first. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny because I thought most of the action was controlled by Winnipeg, but it's only a one-goal game because Schmidt was able to score two quick goals off that face-off uh, to nullify that that lead. We have a penalty against the Boston Bruins. Looks like Bork's going in two minutes. 17 seconds in the second period. That'll put Winnipeg on the power play. Yeah, I'm not, uh, Boston has some pretty solid defenders. I'm not sure who comes in for Bork automatically. Um, so it's not that Maybe Glenn bad. Wesley. It's, it, it's either Wesley or Shaw. Hopefully it's Wesley, but we won't find out as Shamnoff rips one past Andy Moog. Power play goal assisted by Solani and Housley. That comes at 41 seconds in the second period. It's 4-2 Winnipeg. And the seep slip didn't work that time. Yeah, yeah, AJ, not, uh, sorry, Schmidt not able to do a quick goal to counter that last one this time. Uh, AJ all over that. Sweeney with a good check stops the offensive rush. Takes it all the way down, and Newman intercepts, but Juno scoops it up back to Newman. Donato has it now. We have a penalty against... Look out. Oh. An almost an own goal there. Uh, but uh, Housley goes in for two minutes for hooking. Big opportunity. Uh, Schmidt's really good off these faceoffs. And a quick shot from Can't Donato. Turned away. David off can candle it. Now picked up by Solani. Resetting. Trying to get past the skaters. He can. And goes short side. Ooh. And Sweeney scoops up the loose puck. And Juno can't find that forehand shot. Donato picks up the loose puck, puts a one-timer to Juno. Turned away. David off the other way, coming up on two minutes in the in the second period. Oh, it's uh, down Schmidt going the other way. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say Schmidt didn't get that that quick one-timer off because it was just like a little weak wrister that went in there. I wonder if he would have been able to. Uh, either the player didn't do it, or he just wasn't able to execute the the quick timer there for for a goal. David off wrapping around. There was a, a an unintentional pick going on there in the crease. And uh, not sure what that is, but oh. that's a goal. What in the world? A turnover unassisted <coughs> Solani here at 4.15. It's 5-2. Yeah, Boston looking silly out there. Um, Solani's just skating around. Um, Schmidt chasing it because he needs to get this guy down like that. But wasn't able to do so in the previous play. Finally got the puck, tried to get a quick outlet to try to create some quick offense, and uh, was just a, a disaster as he gave it right back to Sonny in an open net. Uh, not the way he wanted that one to end. AJ wisely clearing it as time expires in the second. 5 to your score here, Angry J over Schmidt. And uh, Angry J need, desperately needed holding on here. 
uh, as if you lose this game, the series would be over. Yeah, in this game, I mean, it's 5-2. The two goals Schmidt scored were really just, I mean, a total of probably 10 seconds of attack. Everything else seems to be being controlled by Winnipeg all game. Uh, Donato's been a, a key piece of that. Uh, you've been able to use him with a lot of effectiveness here, but uh, just the offensive pressure from Winnipeg has been substantial. Mm -hmm. Juno, back passes. We've seen a few times now where he's drove the net and held on to the shot and done a back pass in hopes of that overcompensating manual goaltending. Sends a shot from deep near the blue Ooh, line on a, a couple of occasions here. We'll see Donato go in for two minutes. Yeah, tripping. So things getting even worse for Boston here. Face-off uh, in the offensive zone for the Jets. If they win this one, they could pretty much put it away. They do. They control it. Killing more time. Boom. Ooh! Jamnoff should have had that one. Piped it instead. And Moog is there, and the puck is frozen. So the face-off in the Boston zone. Yeah, tremendous setup. Nice patience. Uh, very typical AJ. And um, normally some of those go in. That one... Just ran out of little real estate. That's good. And there is a four goal lead here in the third, just under three minutes. Solani gets the hat trick. Jamnoff and David off with apples. And that happens at 2.03 in the third period. Yeah, 2.03 plus two periods, all Winnipeg. I mean, I, I just, aside from two funky shots from Boston, I have seen nothing really generated here by the Bruins in this game. And as the next matchup unfolds, uh, assuming here that Angry Jay is going to close this game out, although a nice attempt there, a nice chance from Schmidt, what, uh, what we'll see in that, that final or potential final game. All these, all these are now potential final games. Um, mm -hmm. you know, what, what, do we slow the game back down? You know, is, this, is the speed right now too much for... Uh, in the hands of Angry J, you know, is, is that creating an unfair advantage for him? I, I don't know what will be the strategy in the tier calling next next round. Yeah, it, it, everything you just said, right? It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Uh, clearly, Winnipeg is not a team. Uh, you got you got to be careful for AJ. I think if right now, if there was a single team he needed for a do or die, it'd probably be Winnipeg. Oh. The give and go to Davidoff, jammed off with the Apple 7 2. Gross. Gross, filthy, whatever you want to call that. That's what that was. Uh, I'm going to call this game Trojan. I'm going to say that this one's over. Uh, I agree. I'm going to try to <laughs> update Angry Jay's standing here to two games. I don't think five goals in 21 seconds is possible. So, you know, call me a fortune teller. <laughs> Impossible. The best you can realistically do is six to seven seconds off a of faceoff. There is some, there are some five second uh, goals you can score, and maybe, uh, you know, uh, but realistically, you need about seven seconds. So all the, so, uh, all, all the uh, stars of the game on Winnipeg there, and uh, I mean, just a, a not dominant offensive performance. It's not like Schmidt played poorly, but just too much yeah. offensive pressure. That, that was just, um, yeah, dominant from beginning to end. You know, um, I think Boston even fortunate to get the two goals. So like you said, Trojan, let's see what the uh, what the situation is now. Um, Schmidt going to be the first to pick out of the tier that AJ calls. Oh, he's going Edmonton this time. Edmonton, St. Louis. Oh, AJ going to his... Uh, his favorite teams here one Winnipeg St. Louis with Brett Hull I think we all know that uh, if you've been watching or following AJ uh, absolutely dominant with Brett Hull and you know I'll say that but that's it's you know Hull can have a tendency to have some of those games where his shots are flying all over the place um, so that could be a do or die he might I don't know if Craig Jane is in the lineup here um, I don't think he's doing Shanahan I'm assuming it's uh Bassett's well, we in got, there well, yeah, what do we got? Janney in there? Brown, 15. Hull, Basson. This is these color matchups again. And, and, oh, uh, Klima. Butcher is there. Klima from Manson and Todd. Bounces off Cujo. Can't get a hold of it. And there's their first goal there at 33 seconds in the first. So, Corbett, you're telling me that, that Edmonton, St. Louis are different tiers? Uh, which, so, in the chat. 
we'll see. Um, I can answer that question here. Um, oh, they are. Uh, St. Louis is below the Oilers. Wow. Okay. But, but I'll see I mean, this it's, as it's, a, it's not a gross. I mean, this is a matchup I would call in a standard a standard Matt Collin matchup tournament all day. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't. Uh, to, true to AJ's word, it's still a tear down. Um, however, um, you know, it's not like there's a massive advantage here for the Edmonton Oilers. Although Klima is uh, certainly getting off early. Yeah, he's hitting the net. Always scary when your superstar is hot. Boom. Oh, boy. 3 nothing early. Just kidding. Tears matter. No, I'm just kidding. The, the, the tears do matter. All tears um, matter. <laughs> all tears matter. Uh, quick 3 nothing. This is a um, uh, basically a reversal of what we saw in the previous game where Winnipeg was controlling everything. Right now, the Edmonton Oilers um, clogging up everything, getting the offense going, and, and St. Louis having trouble getting anything. I know it's early in the first, though. Schmidt is uh, fired up in chat here. He's upset that a, a lower tier was used. Yeah, we need the uh, the Michael Jordan meme where he takes it personally. <laughs> <laughs> Pass center on the back that Ranford oh, is there. Nice. Yeah, I mean, and Ranford was there because of the manual goalie. That's a that's a key play by Schmidt. Otherwise, that goes in on most people. Emerson trying to find anything, a nice lane, a quick one timer. Hall sends it wide. Yeah, not not a bad option option just to let Hole take a shot, and if that hits net, that could go in. Pass and resets one minute here remaining in Got it. the period. And right into the crease there, Hall from Emerson and Bassett is 3 1. PP goal for the St. Louis Blues to uh, cut the lead to two. Emerson. If he can get one more goal before the period ends here, that would help a lot. But a lot of timing ticked oh, off here. Icing waved off. And that'll do it for the first period. 3-1, a huge explosive start for Schmidt. Angry Jay put a little bit of dent in that damage, but he's going to need to start steering the ship the other way. Yeah, and, and you're right. It, it has slowed down a bit for the... For the Oilers since that flurry to start and you feel like the Blues have gotten most of the opportunities to start uh, late in the first and here in the second already. Pass shot led to a rebound chance but uh, some well executed holding by Chaos and his Oilers. Or not Chaos, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was reading Chaos's chat there. I'm all triggered about my tears right now. <laughs> you know, I... The, the funny thing is, I, I think I consulted uh, both you and Angry Jay on uh, your opinions for what those were at one point, and that was the, the result that came out of those uh, those questionnaires. Yeah, I mean, you know, you could go back, you can make a hundred different tiers. I think the, the one thing I do, I do find is there's certain teams, even within a tier, right, uh, that play well, you know, three, four teams, uh, you know, I'll say like a tier above, tier below, some don't. So it's really hard to. I would say carp. I can't say it, but just you know, um, carp. Can't say it. Todd from Klima there. Whatever that word Four is. One. To like really group. I was gonna say group. It's really hard to just you know take twenty three teams and group twenty six teams and just group them into even tiers where everyone's matched up because that's not how they were designed or set up. Uh, so there's always gonna be like some flexibility. Like this, this is not necessarily a, a, a you know a noticeably tiered matchup, right? And that's fine. But someone else within that same tier may look uh, a lot worse depending on the matchups of the teams. So, this is since we're you know, there's a lot of back and forth here, but there's a, a good good opportunity to explain how and the thinking behind the tiers. So, besides the placement of the teams themselves, um, you know, a guy walking off the street to a live event is not going to win the tournament. And so, we we're not big enough where we can have a Duke tournament you know, or whatever we, we might call it ourselves, but, you know, that, that, that separated tier tournament. So we figure if a guy's going to come off the street and he played with the St. Louis Blues and the other teams got Calgary, if, he, if that's how he wants to, to, to take his demises with, you know, taking one-timers with Brett Hall, then we're going to let that guy do that as long. But we're not going to let him pick it every single time, but he'll at least get a chance to play with his favorite team or a couple different teams that way. Um, 
at the same note, it also prevents the imbalance of, okay, I don't know what the even matchups are, and you call a really bad one. Now you're already going to lose, probably. Yeah. Uh, and now that's been exacerbated. So that's why this is done that way. It's to make it more accessible for the guy walking in, uh, and then also to make sure that the same team isn't used over and over. Um, we've seen Buffalo this insert team here called 12 times, and we always see the same team, so it gives guaranteed variety. So I guess that would be your three reasons. And 4-1 here, speaking of variety, Angry Jay needs to come with some goal-scoring variety. Yeah, he needs to come with that pretty quick, too. There was uh, one goal scored in the second period, and that was two. Pass oh. Rebound. By Edmonton, and uh, yeah, we just called it there. Nice nice rebound. Hull takes the shot. Ranford unable to gobble it up, gives up the rebound right to, uh, right to Emerson. And uh, Edmonton is higher in the tier listing between these two teams. Uh, certainly not a, a, you know, like a desperately bad matchup, but it's, you know, you got more speed on the ice with uh, Edmonton and Klima as a force. Yeah. AJ trying to feed Hull there for some one-timer action. A lot of traffic. Todd, who has been spectacular so far, has another breakaway. The check is missed, and now finally Basson takes him down, but Simpson has it. But Garth Butcher up to Hull. Two minutes now remaining. Todd scoops it up. Yeah, Todd not necessarily a scoring threat. And the oh, putback. Oh, and it looks it. like Jeff Brown's got it. 4-3, your score here. Well, well, well. Uh, that uh, The collar's getting a little tight around Schmidt's neck there as uh, <laughs> a minute 30 here. <laughs> feeling that pressure of uh, St. Louis coming back in this game, making a game of it. Reset Todd there. Look out. Simpson checked by Emerson. Now Ramper's got it. Really nice checking here. Under a minute remaining. Klima, can you do anything with it? Taken down by Emerson. To Brown. Back to Butcher to Brown again. Emerson. That's oh, why that wasn't Brown, that was Emerson. He's going to get the icing? No. Oh, that's a nice play there. This that's may be it. going to seal it up unless there's a just a dump in. And no. that's it. Schmidt. Well played. Takes it four games to two over Angry Jay. Well played series. Made it interesting there. Um, the uh, the added challenge, uh, Schmidt didn't take too kindly to it, and, and he made Angry Jay pay. So here's here's the the shtick. Unless circumstances change, we know that Schmidt is unlikely to be able to make the tournament. I'm not going to get into the why that is. It's not his fault. Um, so if he can't make it this year, we will extend the free entry to next year when we hold it in 2023. Um, he has communicated that to me. And uh, it, all, all is well. If he wants to tell you why, he can. But um, we just wish him uh, the best. And uh, if circumstances change and you can't make the tournament, obviously you know, that would also apply this year. Um, but if, if you can't make it this year, next year we'll make sure you get that uh, that free entry. So, And uh, thanks to everyone who watched here. Uh, Seven-game series ended up being six games. Schmidt's your champion of the Beer League tournament. It was kind of fun, huh? I mean, uh, uh, this is great, you know, uh, and, and a really exciting final. It really, I, like I, I said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, it doesn't really get better than these two guys. It's it's a rare, you won't see it live streamed often. Um, AJ losing in the seven game series. So kudos to Schmidt um, for taking this one out uh, in, in six games. Absolutely. Uh, King Raph, thank you for uh, taking the time. I think at least three different series you hopped on here, maybe more. Um, uh, and it's been a blast having you. Uh, so just to let everyone know, again, this weekend we're going to be uh, on the Retro Sports Gamer channel right here, and we'll be live uh, at the Moxie Uptown, Minneapolis. If you see the bottom link there, tinyurl.com forward slash NHL Modano 2. Uh, if, if you want to be part of the tournament, we'd love to have you, but if you can't be there live, we want you on the stream uh, supporting uh, the guys that do make it, and uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, for King Raph, thank you for being here. Thanks, everyone, chat, and thanks, everyone, who participated in this tournament and, and contributed. We are going to join the viewers uh, communally, and uh, we'll see you guys this weekend. So take care. Good night.